Hi everyone, my name is Karen, this is my channel Rather Be Reading and today I'm bringing to you my monthly recommendations for OTPs. <music> monthly Recommendations is a Goodreads group created by Kayla and Trina. I will leave a link to both of their channels and the Goodreads group down below for you guys to check out. Now. I personally can be very wary of watching videos surrounding OTPs and book boyfriends and things like that because I don't like to be spoiled for romances and how they end up. And it's happened to me a lot. A really good example of this is The Infernal Devices, which I'm currently reading, which I have unfortunately been spoiled on what happens in terms of the love triangle in that book. Another really great example is The Selection. Not a series of books that I'm necessarily that interested in reading, but particularly because when the two companion books about one of the main characters daughter came out so I'm trying not to spoil you I'll tell you about how I was spoiled um, everyone was talking about whose daughter this character was and like so many people mentioned it in videos and now I'm like well now that I know that I know how the selection trilogy ends so Watching videos like this can be something to be wary of. I am going to make every attempt not to spoil anything. I will state the couple that I'm going to be talking about at the start. So if you don't want to hear that couple, just skip while I'm holding up that book or mute me, like I say, while I'm holding up that book or while I've got a picture of that book up. Um, I am... The couple, just me talking about a couple is not necessarily going to spoil you because I'm not necessarily always going to be talking about couples that are definitely together in books. These are just couples that I personally like. Doesn't mean they're together, doesn't mean they end up together, etc. So I'll say who the couple is. As I said, if you want to mute me for that couple, that's totally fine. And I will, even when I'm talking about that couple, try not to spoil what happens, but sometimes that can be difficult. So I don't make any promises about that, but I will try my absolute hardest. This was a very long intro. Let's jump in and talk about some of the couples. I struggled with putting together this list. I personally ship couples a lot harder in movies and TV shows than I do in books. I'm actually thinking about filming a video about my favourite TV OTPs, so if you guys would like to see that, let me know. Um, and I have a lot more couples than this in books that I like, but I basically have just gone with the first six couples that came into my mind when I decided to film this video. So let's jump in as I said. The first OTP I want to talk about is Rafa and Gabby from the Rafame series by Paula Weston. The Rafame series follows a main character named Gabby. Gabby has recently been, not recently, about a year previously, she was in a horrific car accident in which she was severely injured and her twin brother Jude was killed. She has been recovering from this accident. She's been having these dreams or nightmares where she's in some kind of nightclub fighting demons um, alongside this boy and one day when she's at a bar, this boy, like who she's fighting demons with in her dreams, turns up um, in the bar and he seems to know a lot about her but she has no idea who he is. Now, Gabby and Rafa are one of the main things that I loved about this series. When I first read this, it had been, there were a couple that I shipped really, really hard and I've never, um, it had been a long time since I shipped a couple that hard in a book. They are, have a very, um, kind of tension filled, um, kind of relationship because Gabby doesn't remember a lot about her past and she knows that there are reasons why her and Rafa should not necessarily be together, but she doesn't know what those reasons are, but they are very, very attracted to each other. And it's just one of those, I wouldn't say love to, sorry, hate to love because they don't hate each other, but it's a very tension relationship with kind of a lot going on in the background, very kind of angsty almost. So if you like angsty relationships, this could be for you. Like I said, they've got a lot of chemistry things like that. Um, I really, really love this series as a whole. I think the lowest rating I gave for one of these books was a 4.75 and the other three books I gave five stars. So I personally really loved this series. So I definitely recommend checking it out. And Rafa and Gabby are a couple, an OTP that I personally have and that I definitely think are worth reading about. 
The next OTP I want to talk about are Piper and Ash from the Steel and Stone series by Annette Marie. The first book in the series is Chase the Dark. This is a five book um, urban fantasy slash paranormal series that follows the main character Piper who is, um, it's an urban fantasy world like I said and she is training to be a, I don't, I don't really know what to call it, I can't even remember what they call it in the book, um, but she's training basically to be this type of person who helps protect their world when a very precious um, item in this world goes missing and she is believed to have stolen it and she's basically got to go on the run with these two boys who were also in um, the consulate at the time that this gem was stolen and so they all go on the run together because they're all suspects. Um, this is one of the type of stories that at the beginning in the first book I thought we were going to go down a love triangle path but we really don't. There is a very clear line that Piper takes um, which is good. Um, I'm not going to spoil which way she takes for you. Like I said it is very clear basically from like midway through the first book to the end of the first book but I won't um, spoil it for you but I personally really wanted Piper to be with Ash. They have a Ash is your very typical kind of broody bad boy. He is, uh, I can't remember if he's half demon or full demon but so you know he's that bad boy very broody, he's got a very mysterious past but he's very like badass and all of those things. It's your pretty typical um, you know YA bad boy basically um, but this is again a very enjoyable urban fantasy type series. It's nothing totally groundbreaking but it is very very enjoyable the series as a whole. I really also enjoyed Piper as a character in it um, so I would definitely recommend checking out this series. The next OTP I want to mention is one of my all-time, all-time faves, and that is Simon and Blue from Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. So I read this book last year. It was my absolute most favorite book of 2016. Um, I'll leave a link to my um, top 16 books of 20, my top 10 books, sorry, of 2016 in the cards for you guys to check out if you haven't. I adored this book, and one of the things I adored about it so much was um, the interactions between Simon and Blue. This is about a boy named Simon who is gay but he is not out and he has been having email communications with another boy named Blue who he doesn't know who Blue is but he knows that Blue attends his high school um, and Blue is also um, not out and they have been communicating. Someone discovers the emails that Simon has been sending and starts to blackmail Simon. The email conversations and things like that that Simon and Blue have in this book were just so, so precious. Um, I loved Simon as a character and I really loved what we got of Blue's character through the emails. Um, I just, this book, I say it's so heartwarming. I, I loved this book so much. It made me feel just so happy and like I say warm and fuzzy inside really um, and a big part of that was the interactions that we have between Simon and Blue in their emails. I highly recommend this book, definitely, definitely check it out. As I said, it was my favourite book that I read last year. The next couple that I want to mention I'm sure is going to be on a lot of people's lists and that is Ron and Hermione from the Harry Potter series. Um, now, I read these books, I read the first book when I was in year seven um, and I can't remember what book I was up to at the time that the Prisoner of Azkaban movie came out but it was actually the Prisoner of Azkaban movie that made me see the potential in the Ron Hermione relationship. I had not until that point picked up on any romantic feelings. I don't know if that's just because I was young, I wasn't looking for it, it's not what this book series is about, obviously it's not a romantic series. Um, and in the scene in The Prisoner of Azkaban where, so spoilers obviously um, for the movie and the books generally, um, when they believe that Buckbeak is being, you know, put to death and Hermione like turns her head into Ron's chest and hides like from seeing Buckbeak be beheaded and Ron kind of puts his arm around her and I went, oh, hello, <laughs> like, what's going on here? And that was the first real inkling that I got of any kind of romantic possibility between the two. And basically from that point on, I was 
on board. I know some people don't ship um, Ron and Hermione. They're one of those couples that a lot of people ship and a lot of people don't. I think a lot of people had expected um, Hermione and Harry to be a romantic option as well. I personally never shipped Harry and Hermione. Um, like, not at all. I, I just... I never saw it. Um, I don't get it. So, I love Ron and Hermione. They are one of my all-time fave couples. I just think they complement each other so well. And like I said, it's one of those... I don't know if I'm so on board as well because I was on board from a young age. Like I say, as soon as I saw that moment in Prisoner of Azkaban movie, I was, yeah, here for it. So, yes, Ron and Hermione forever. The next couple that I want to talk about is Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice. Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy are basically like the OG, OTP, I feel. I adore their relationship. Now, if you are looking for a hate-to-love relationship, then Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy have got you covered. Theirs is a very drawn out kind of tentious kind of relationship. I love all of the tension and banter and miscommunication and everything that goes on in the book and all of the movie adaptations. It's just delicious to watch and to read about. So I have loved, um, I read it. Um, Pride and Prejudice for the first time in high school and I had I believe at that point seen um no thinking about it I hadn't seen any movie adaptation of it at that point but I knew because you just kind of everyone knows about Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy so I kind of knew about them going in I read it I adored it and I've since seen a couple of movie adaptations I've never seen the BBC production which I really really need to get on but I do really love the Kira Knightley movie um, I love that movie and I've reread the book two years ago, I think it was. I adored it even more. It is my favourite Jane Austen book, the romance between Darcy and Elizabeth is just, it's pretty damn delicious to read about, as I said. So yes, highly, highly love and recommend. And the final OTP that I want to talk about um, is a very recent addition to my list and that is... Alec and Magnus from the Mortal Instruments series. Um, there are many couples to ship um, in this series. Um, Alec and Magnus are my favourite. Um, there is another couple though recently. I'm currently reading the fifth book and there's another kind of couple that I didn't expect to ship. But I'm kind of shipping it. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to like spoil anything for anyone but I'm into it. Um, but yeah, Magnus and Alec, I don't even know what it is about them, but I freaking love it. I, I knew about them, like I knew that people shipped them. This series has obviously been out for a long time. I knew people shipped them before I read it, but I didn't really know anything about them. I adore them. I totally 100% adore them. We've been getting a few chapters in the book that I'm reading at the moment from Alec's perspective and I am here for it. Magnus and Alec forever. I can't wait to see more of like them and interactions between them and just everything like that's going on in future books because I like I'm really it's one of the things that I'm reading this series for, to be honest. I love Simon as a character. Totally adore Simon. But Magnus and Alec, they are where it's at. So those are six bookish OTPs that I really enjoy. I really enjoy the books associated with them, obviously. So highly recommend picking them up. Um, yeah, I would love to chat with you guys in the comments down below if you ship any of these couples or if you don't ship these couples. If there's a couple here that I mentioned that you're like, ugh, no TP. Let's talk about it. I would love to know the reasons why you don't ship them. I would also love to know any really great OTPs that you have that I didn't mention. Don't spoil me though. Like I don't want to know if they like end up together in the end and exactly what happens in their relationship because I love going on the journey. But I would love to chat with you guys in the comments down below. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. That's all I've got for this video today. Bye guys.